expressed with multiple variables in it now. So let's see what its greatest common factor is. So let's look at the coefficients. It looks like, to me, 9 is the number that goes uh, evenly into 27 and 9 and 81 the most, or that's the highest number. So our greatest common factor is going to include a 9. Let's look at the x's. x squared, x, and just an x. Looks like it's just going to be an x. That's common in all three terms. And then looks like a y is the only thing that's common to each of those terms. So there's my greatest common factor. So let's use that to determine what these values are. So this is going to be a 3x y squared. These two terms together multiplied produce the 27x squared minus 3. Then we have a 9xy, so plus a 9xy. And then what's left? That was multiplied, that's a negative 1 and a y, so a negative y. And then one factor of this term is a 9xy, and then what's left looks like just a 9. So I was able to rewrite each of these terms as a product of factors that include the greatest common factor and what's left over to make that original term. So let's pull out a 9xy from each of these terms. That means we're factoring them out. And then what's left? A 3xy squared a negative y, and a positive 9. And just doing a quick check, by distributing them all the way across, shows that I have the correct answer.